Hi, and you're now with the Forerunner Chronicles. All right, everybody, so once again, the papacy has fueled up its propaganda machine and they've put it into full throttle because this time they've enlisted the services of a three-time Academy Award nominee by the name of Wender to assist them in creating a film, a documentary, starring none other than, you guessed it, Padre Mario Bargoglio. I'm talking about Pope Francis. The title of the documentary is... Pope Francis, a man of his word. Here's the official trailer for the documentary. Take a look. No matter what divides us, his words unite us. For the first time in history, the Pope opens his doors to address the questions and issues we face together as a leader whose faith inspires the world. I have the distinct honor of presenting to you Pope Francis of the Holy See. Buonasera. From award-winning director Vim Vendors. Nos dice que no se puede servir a dos señores. O servimos a Dios o servimos a las riquezas. We're smiling here in the studio at the looks of this car. We are used to the big American limousines and this is a Mr. Bean car by comparison and yet it's going to take him around town. En las familias discutimos, en las familias a veces vuelan los platos. No voy a hablar de la suegra. En la familia hay dificultades, pero esas dificultades se superan con amor. In a divided world, saber escuchar. Las diferencias nos dan miedo porque nos hacen crecer. One leader has a mission. No es de fortaleza lo tener es. Es fortaleza. To bring us together. Abbiamo tanto da fare e dobbiamo farlo insieme. Now, in viewing that trailer, it's very clear that there was a very specific message that the Vatican crafted this media presentation to highlight and inculcate in the minds of the viewers of it. And the message is, our world is divided. And in this world that is divided on all fronts, there's only one man who has made it his sole purpose for existing to unite all of humanity. And this man and this man alone possesses the words that can unite man with man brother with brother, enemy with enemy. And this man is none other than the Pope of Rome, Pope Francis. This is the very meat of the propaganda that this film was created to promote. And very shortly from now, Hollywood is getting ready to unleash this propaganda on humanity. The Roman Catholic Church, they're masters of propaganda. Matter of fact, they're not only masters of propaganda, the Roman Catholic Church is historically noted as the entity that is responsible for originating the term propaganda. In the year 1622, under the pontificate of Pope Gregory the 15th, the Roman Catholic Church established an office in Latin known as Congregio de Propaganda Fide, which in English means the Congregation of the Propagation of Faith. This office was set up to be overseen by cardinals that they might watch the work of the promoting of Roman Catholic doctrine in regions of our world where Roman Catholicism was not present. They became hit to the fact that it was more effective to educate people to pay homage to the papacy and its popes rather than using the means of torture and persecution. My friends, the papacy has a long history of utilizing the power of policy to remove and destroy its enemies. And the Bible already exposed this truth about the papacy in the book of Daniel chapter 8 and verse 25. In speaking of the popes of Rome, the Bible says, and through his policy also, he shall cause craft, which means deception, to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace he shall destroy many. Ladies and gentlemen, this film is nothing more than the prophetic continuation of the conduct of the Roman Catholic Church and all of its popes 
to deceive people through its policies, through its propaganda, through its agendas, to lead them to pay homage to this system as a moral entity. But in reality, it is seeking to exalt itself over the nations of our world. And as it seeks to exalt itself to this position of authority, it will crush and destroy those who will not pay homage to its so-called morality because it will say we are seeking peace and these people, they're not falling in line. They need to be uprooted and removed. And it's really just too interesting how at this very time in which our world is embroiled in division due to racism and economic injustices, social injustices, and all types of differences of opinion on political policies, that in this climate of division, the type of climate of division, by the way, that historically Jesuits always thrive in. And Pope Francis just so happens to be the very first Jesuit Pope of the Roman Catholic Church during this time of division. And at this very time in which the Roman Catholic Church is getting ready to roll out probably one of the most powerful pieces of propaganda that they ever unleashed on humanity. At this very time, Google, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and every major social media platform is getting ready to crack down on what they define to be conspiracies on their platforms. My friends, Satan knows that he has but a short time, and he's doing everything to ensnare your mind and the minds of all mankind in a lie that will not only lead us to wander after the beast, but will lead us to our eternal destruction. And at the very same time, he is seeking to put a vice grip on every avenue of communication so that the everlasting gospel cannot go forward and that the prophecies that unmask the Antichrist power, that alert us to the nearness of the implementation of the mark of the beast and call us to thorough preparation for the imminent second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the devil is seeking to shut up every avenue by which these truths can be broadcasted upon the face of planet Earth until the time of human probation has come to its close and multitudes upon multitudes upon multitudes are lost. And this is the reason why now is the time for us to wholly surrender our hearts to Jesus Christ and immerse ourselves in the Word of God so that our words, our influences, our time, our talents, our resources might be used so that some soul might receive Jesus Christ and be saved in His kingdom. Now is the time. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound an alarm in his holy mountain and let all the inhabitants of the earth tremble for the day of the Lord cometh. It is nigh at hand. And as always, this is the forerunner. And whether you like it or not, the truth is the truth. Genesis System Online Digital Download Sequence has been initiated. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. You can read it in the Bible. Centuries ago, the word of God foretold that there would be an evil that would grip the entire human race. That nation would rise up against nation and kingdom against kingdom and that a corruption of a supernatural nature would sweep away the last vestige of proof that man was made in the image of God. But from the midst of the sewage of immorality, there would be one system that would ascend, one power that would emerge as the presumptive savior of humanity, and that power that will seize upon the misguided adoration of humanity. That power is Rome. And as you behold the artful advance of the papacy's campaign to have their pontiff crowned as the champion of peace, it begins to become clear that the political rigor mortis that once held Rome as its captive, those bonds of impotence have been broken. 
Rome is back. <laughs> <laughs>